Hello once again, my name is Barry, I'm here at Rimmer's Music in Blackpool and today I'm very excited to bring you this. This is a Yamaha CLP585B. It's a satin black digital piano. Uh, it's second hand, it's only recently arrived into the store and it is absolutely brilliant. Uh, not just the sound, but look at it. It looks absolutely amazing. It really does look the part. It looks like a miniature real piano, and it sounds every bit like a real piano. Um, even down to little things, just little nuances, should I say, because this was a flagship piano of its day. So let me just show you this. You can see it on the, on the video, hopefully you can. When you close the lid, it's a soft fall lid. Really elegant, really, really nice indeed. Now then, what can I tell you about the piano? So first of all, I'm going to tell you the size, the dimensions. We don't usually do this with digital pianos, usually with real pianos, but because it looks a little bit like a miniature real piano, it might be important for you to know exactly whether you can fit it where you want it to go. So for the width, we're just around about 147 centimetres. Height, we're about 102 centimetres, and depth stands at 48 centimetres. So it's obviously smaller than a real piano, um, but it just looks brilliant, doesn't it? It really does. So what can I tell you about this particular model? Well, for a start, we've obviously got 88 full-sized linear action keys. It uses the NWX keybed. Now, what that means basically is that these are wooden white keys. Yes, they are. The wooden white keys, just like you'd find on a real piano. So they offer the same sort of quality that you would get with a real piano. Uh, we also have uh, synthetic ivory key tops, <coughs> the key tops themselves, so if, you, if your hands are sweaty, well it's a warm day today, so mine are quite frankly, but they don't slip around the key or slip off the keys when you're playing, which is really, really good, a brilliant feature to have. Polyphony, so how many notes will it sustain at any one time is a question we get asked very regularly. Well, the answer to that for this particular model is 256, so you're unlikely to run out of polyphony at all. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, sounds. How many sounds? Just under 50. I think it's 48 to be precise, but there is another 480 XG, sound, XG sounds built in as well. So you've got over 500 sounds. That's plenty enough to be going on with, considering it's a piano. Um, and finally, we've got rhythms. It has 20 rhythms in there. They're not backings, it's not a keyboard, but they are proper drum beats, basically. So if you're playing the piano and you want something just as a rhythm rather than a metronome, there are rhythms in there as well. On the left hand side here we've got a little control panel with the categories for the sounds, a nice uh, backlit LCD screen so it's really easy to understand. We've got USB uh, device socket on there, USB host, we've got a headphone hanger, uh, you name it, it's pretty much got it. So without further ado, I'm just going to delve into some of the sounds. I'll try and pick a voice to show you from each of the groups and also we'll try, if we've got time, I'll try and pop a, a little bit of a ditty with a rhythm in there as well for you. So, hope you enjoy it. Let's get on with it.
So that's just a very small selection of the, the sounds that are available in the piano, and they are all top-notch quality. They really do sound absolutely superb. So um, what we'll do now is I'll give you a, a quick tour around the piano, because it is second-hand, there are a few marks here and there. So what I'll do is I'll get the camera, take you around the piano, so just so you can see for yourself as though you're here, so you know exactly how it looks for yourself. Okay? Okay, so this is a, a quick tour of the second-hand Yamaha CLP 585 that we currently have available at our Blackpool store. A gorgeous piano, it really is. So let's just have a, a look around the top of the instrument for the condition. It's a little blemish there, small scratch there, a little mark there. Let's move across the top, just a bit of dust, yep. <laughs> A little scratch there, you can see it very light. Skate marks, I think we'd call it really, wouldn't we? Let's move down the right side. There's a little mark there. Let's move near the bottom there. Okay. Move back up again, go around to the the front of the instrument from the right hand side, the treble end. You see the keys there as well. I'm trying to go slowly and evenly, but it's not very easy with a camera. <laughs> there are the keys, just so you can see it all clearly for yourself. There's a slight blemish there. It's just a very slight erosion to the top of the key. Sometimes can happen if it's if it's played quite regularly. It doesn't affect the way that it works anyway. Okay, and then we'll just sorry ignore that. It's just uh, our music school. We've just had a student come through. There's the LCD panel there with all your controls, and then we'll move over to oh, it's a little mark there. Look as well. Move over to the left hand side of the piano. Air dust. I have cleaned this piano, but dust seems to appear from nowhere. <laughs> There's a little mark there, look. Oh, is it coming out? Oh, it's coming out, sorry. Oh, well, okay. And it just looks like a little scuff there. Can you see it just on the side panel? So we'll just go back round to the front. And we'll close the lid. I'll just show you the piano closed. That's the piano closed, and then we'll just finally move down to the lower part, just so you can see there. See odd scuffs. Two serious pedals are in easily clean condition, considering people well use them all the time, don't they? And then up through the Legs, a little mark there, look on the front leg, little scuffs. Move across the front. And down the left side there. See little small marks, look indentations. And a few marks on the front leg there, on the left side. Will they come off? Oh, mate, come off now. Just little marks look okay so there you have it I'll zoom out okay so that's just a, a quick condition uh, check of this second-hand Yamaha CLP 585 that we currently have in Blackpool so uh, I'll hand you back over to that other guy I'll speak to you soon bye now so there are a few marks here and there, but nothing really too drastic to worry about considering it's a second-hand instrument. Um, one important thing to mention, which is really, really good actually, is that this piano has just recently been serviced. Yes, we've just had the engineer here 
just doing a little bit of work for us and he's had a look at this, given it a good service, changed all the key contacts. So when you get the piano, they're absolutely spot on, no problems at all. And we also offer a three month warranty as well. So peace of mind there as well. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can head on down there, have a look for some more information. The specifications are pop on there as well. And um, I think that's it, that covers it. So until next time, my name is Barry at Blackpool and I'll see you soon. Bye bye now.